Hey there, Lauren Van Duzer here to show you loose leash walking. The cue that I like to use is let's go or let's walk. Good stay, buddy. And um, so what we're gonna do is just reward them for every couple of steps. So every couple of steps that they take, we're gonna reward them periodically. And then as they progress, we're gonna reward for fewer steps. So in the beginning, we'll, we will reward for every two to five steps. And then we'll move up to, up to 10 to 12 steps and um, that's the thought process behind it. So you'll just increase it as they do well. Um, practicing inside with less distractions is gonna be best. And then you can also do this off leash in a hallway, which is a great place to start. Um, it's what, how I started with him, or you can make like an obstacle course through your house with chairs and stuff like that, where they only have one trail way to go. Um, so in the outdoors, they're going to have a lot more to get distracted by, and so that means you have to work harder to get it done. So another thing we want to talk about is rewards. We're going to start using treat rewards, and then we're going to move up to using life rewards. So life rewards are what the dog really wants. So like getting to go over and sniff where that squirrel just came from, or getting to go greet his neighbor dog, or... Um, things of that nature. So sometimes dogs like swimming for a reward. If your dog loves a certain toy, you can use that as their reward. And switching them up is going to be really helpful too. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. We're going to walk away first and let's get started. Maple, let's walk. Alrighty, so we reward every couple of steps, and since he is more advanced, I didn't do as many treat rewards. He prefers going to sniff squirrels, so figure out what it is that your dog likes the best, and um, we are going to get started on doing that in the next class, so I will see you soon. Have a great day.